Breaking news out of Shelby Township where Planet Fitness has been evacuated. Police say a man went there to shower after leaving a suspected meth lab at a house that caught fire. 7 Action News reporter Aaron Baskerville is live at that home. And Aaron, what are you finding out? Well, as you said, Stephen and Carolyn, right now there are two different active scenes. One at Planet Fitness, 23rd and Van Dyke in Shelby Township. Another one right where I'm standing on Willow Ray in Shelby Township. And as you can see, this is the house that's in question right over here. They have it secured right now, but nobody is going inside. I'm told they're waiting for a few other agencies to get here, possibly men and women in hazmat suits to go inside and bring any of these dangerous chemicals outside. I'm told that residents out here around 345 or so heard some sort of explosion. Police now telling us it's linked to a possible meth lab. That's when a man inside this home came running out from the house and he made his way over to that Planet Fitness that is 23rd and Van Dyke. And like you said, sources telling us that the man went inside there. He tried to shower and sources telling us they believe that area was contaminated. So they evacuated the Planet Fitness out there. That's all roped off and people have been sent home for now, but that is still an active scene. But over here you can see Shelby Township fire is here. Also, several police officers are on scene. But once again, this house is in question. They are not going inside. They are waiting for some other agencies to come here. So I can tell you to avoid Willow Ray, at least this area, for a long time because the guys that will get here possibly in hazmat suits will be out here for a probably several hours. We're going to be out here for a long time. We're also going to make our way over to the other scene at Planet Fitness. So you're going to want to stick with us throughout the night. We'll have more updates. For now, we are live in Shelby Township, Aaron Baskerville, 7 Action News. All right, Aaron, we'll talk to you soon. Thanks.